Oh yeah! Welcome! Last Christmas, I gave you my heart, <laughs> but also, I, along with a bunch of other small YouTubers, were involved in a UK-based small YouTuber and Funko Collectors Secret Santa. Well, you know what? We've done it again. But of course, it isn't Christmas. This video will be going up around or at some point after Easter. I'm recording this at least a couple of weeks or so in advance, so I don't know exactly what date this video is now due to go up. Hopefully not too long after Easter, given that this is the Easter Bunny box thing. <laughs> Many of us from the UK Secret Santa are involved. Now, let me see if I can get all these names right. We've got UK Pop Chasers, Not Suitable for Mum, Leroy Screwballs, Tori Saurus, Absolute Unboxing with Jess and Peyton, Liam Nally, Big Inzy, Pop Tart, Abigail Barry. I feel like I'm missing someone, probably myself as well. If I do miss anyone's name, I do apologize and I'll put it on screen. So I think that's us 10 who are doing this. Last time, Bearded Geek Reviews and Geeky Heathen were involved in the Secret Santa. What with personal circumstances, they've decided not to be involved in this particular Easter swap. A uh, shout out to those guys, and uh, hopefully they'll be joining us for uh, future Secret Santa or whatever we'll end up calling this Funko Pop um, swap unboxing. I don't know how to say it, really. Anyway, I've got my box here. It's pretty big. It's pretty heavy. You know how a Secret Santa works. The Easter Bunny is exactly the same thing, but around Easter, not around Christmas. That feels very self-explanatory. Obviously, I've no idea who it's from. We were all given a spend limit of £20, I believe. I mean, I think it was okay if you went a little bit over, but that was around sort of try not to spend well under that. And obviously, because not everyone can afford it, try not to go too much over that. But I think there was a bit of leeway. Jess from Absolute Unboxing with Jess and Peyton, she was the one who has organised this Easter Bunny draw this time. So many thanks to Jess. Of course, I will leave links for all of the channels involved down in the description and we will all be uploading our videos on the same day i think so make sure that you check us all out it's going to be a lot of fun unboxings as we all get some great easter gifts the only way i'm going to find out who my easter bunny is and what gifts i've received is of course to get my trusty easter yellow colored knife ready i'm in the mood for dancing romancing i'm giving it all tonight i'm in the mood for dancing romancing i don't know the rest of this and now let us have a easter Whistle! Oh god, I'm so excited. Be as careful as I can with this. It's not sort of a massive box, but it's a lot bigger than I expected. And there's some fair weight to it as well. I think we're in. Ooh. Some air pockets or padded air. And we have a note. Shall I read the note now or after? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna read it after this time. Normally I do the note first, but I'm gonna leave who it's from as a proper surprise at the end. So we've got here something in a sorter box and something else in a box that's quite big that. Ooh, looks like two things. I'll do the small pop first. I'm looking at the information on the sorter and I'm pretty certain that this is the sorter used from something else because that's not something that I asked for in my Easter wish list. The first gift I've got from my Easter bunny is... Oh, yes! Oh, yes, 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 yes. Oh, awesome. 
It's the Icy Polar Bear Funko Shop Limited Edition. Oh, brilliant. This was one that I put on my list. I probably didn't mention earlier. We had to put a list of 10 pops. Probably didn't matter if we put a few more down, but a minimum of 10. This was one that I asked for. I know there's a couple of different variants. Um, there's a centered one, and then there's this Funko Shop exclusive one. I didn't mind which. The centered one would have been cool simply because I've never had a centered pop before. And apparently the scent of the grape slushy drink thing that uh, this little bear's holding is quite authentic. As just a figure, I'm perfectly happy with this. I think the only difference between this one and the centered one, apart from the aroma itself, is the colour of the drink. I think it's purple on the other one and it's red on this one. But I see the bear himself looks exactly the same box looks to be in brilliant condition um, I'm made up with this really am thank you to my Easter Bunny I don't know who it is yet so it's quite exciting and we're gonna find that out at the end so stay tuned ah oh, marvelous love it absolutely love it I'm not gonna get him out of the box because I want this video to be fairly prompt with a normal unboxing I would get him out temporarily and then put him back in but I'm gonna leave him in this time just so that I can get this done a little bit quicker because you've got a lot of similar videos from all of us to get through. Really intrigued as to what's in this big box here. I suppose there could be more than one item. I'm only gonna know when I open it. Yeah, let's just open it, shall we? And find out exactly what is in here. I can feel a bit of bubble wrap. So however my Easter Bunny is, he's very careful with packaging. No! <gasps> no way! Oh, wow! I never expected this. I put it on and I thought I was being a bit cheeky because it was one of the more expensively valued items. But check it out. The materialising TARDIS. Wow. Out of the three TARDISes, or TARDI? No, it's not TARDI. Out of the three TARDISes that have come out from Funko, there's the normal TARDIS, there's the, I think, Clara Tribute TARDIS, which my daughter has actually, she got that for Christmas. And then there's this materializing one, I don't know if you can see, it is very hard to see, but it sort of fades at the bottom. And this is the one that when I looked it up on the Funko app, this one was going for the most on the second hand market. I mean, you would be able to find it, I don't know, maybe eBay or somewhere, and you'd probably get it for less than what its value is supposedly at. And I'm assuming that's what my Easter Bunny has done because I know this particular pop was, at the time anyway, was valued at over 20 pound. And I thought, oh, I just need to make my 10 up here, my list of 10 that I want. I'll put this down to be cheeky. So I am absolutely gobsmacked to get this, but absolutely delighted, as this was the TARDIS that I really wanted. They're all cool, but something about this one materializing was really cool. I wanted a TARDIS, really, as I've got a couple of Doctor Who pops now. I've got Davros that I won on eBay. I've got the um, Ninth Doctor, which I won in a giveaway from Geeky Heathen. Materialising Todd, I cannot believe I've got this, seriously. Vaulted, I think, quite a while ago. Um, is there a date on this? Can't tell really, but you can tell it's a fairly old one because it's got the old Funko logo. So that is brilliant, and the box looks to be in amazing condition as well. I won't get it out, same reason that I haven't got Icy Polar Bear out, who I also love. What a brilliant, brilliant Easter Bunny this has been, and all that's left for me to do now is to find out who my Easter Bunny is and to thank them for two absolutely wonderful gifts. So I have the note here. It's exciting. Oh! Look at that. What? What a lovely drawing. That. Oh, brilliant. And it says, Happy Easter. I hope you like your Easter Funko Pop delivery. Stay safe and have a wonderful Easter from the Easter Bunny, Tori, brackets, Tori Saurus. Oh wow, Tori Saurus, thank you so, so very much for 
these amazing pops. I admit, I don't know Tori particularly well. I haven't really spoke to her before this Easter Bunny thing started. And vice versa, she won't know me that well. This is going to go pride of place in my Ad Icons wall there. And I put a few Doctor Who pops down, ones that are relatively common, I think, mostly. I am a Doctor Who fan. It's not something that I've watched in recent years, but I like to get some of the pops that are related more to the eras that I enjoyed when I was younger. Wow. I mean, this was just a massive shock to get this. Out of the 10 that I'd put down, this was the last one that I would expect because it's rarer, vaulted, and from my research, it was relatively pricey. Two absolutely marvellous, wonderful pops from a fantastic YouTuber and a wonderful and generous Easter Bunny, Tori Saurus, and a lovely little note here, nice and colourful, with a picture of a bunny on it and some flowers. That's really nice. I'm going to treasure this note, Tori. Thank you so much. Amazing. So I do hope that you all enjoyed this unboxing of a couple of amazing gifts. I've been so honoured to be a part of this Easter Bunny, just like I was honoured to be a part of the Secret Santa a few months ago. I really hope that we all do this again. Just made awesome friends, really, since doing the Secret Santa, and it's been great that Liam Nally and Tori Saurus have joined us for this one, and I hope they've received amazing gifts, and I hope everyone who's been involved in this has given and received wonderful Funko Pops and whatever else people have decided to send. I know who I've sent to, and I was pretty happy with what I chose for them. See if you can guess who it is, but they will be one of the people listed below. That's gonna be it for me now. One more massive, massive thank you to Tori Saurus. And of course, one more thank you to Jessica as well for all the organization and for making sure everyone got a random draw. I'm gonna go now and I need to order some pop protectors because I haven't really got a backlog of six inch pop protectors like I normally have for the standard size ones. And these two are gonna be displayed very proudly. And please, will you all join me again for my next Funko Pop video? Cheers, everyone. See ya!